You know, I am, um, oh, I just, I, I'm so aggravated by this, uh, this story. I'm so done with, I'm so done with, with this, this idea that, oh my gosh, if you don't think like us, uh, then, then if you don't think like us, then we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna target you. We're gonna target you. You gotta be kidding me. Now, Shannon Bream over at Fox, and by the way, I'm going to be on Megan Kelly's program, uh, tonight, just basically every Friday, uh, where they're trying to say now that it was a third party vendor decision made. Really? That is, to me, that seems like a lame excuse. I'm so cute. A third party decision vendor made the decision that they, they say they don't make decisions based uh, on politics. They're contacting the vendor. I want to know who this vendor is. I want to, th- to me, that sounds like they're passing the buck. You're telling me that your vendors can do this? This was SunTrust. I have, oh, you know, I, 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 I don't want to have to use their tactics. I don't want to have to boycott. I don't want to use their language. I don't want to use any of that. But I'm telling you what, I am at my point of breaking with this. I'm done. I am done of people targeting Christians. Let's talk about the progressive privilege, shall we? Can we have a discussion about progressive privilege? Can we have a discussion about that? Let's, let's, let's discuss this. This, what is happening right now to the, to the Benham brothers, that's progressive privilege. When you got a man who can't question a woman's health who's running for president, just like a man questioned a man's health back when he was running for president, that's progressive privilege. When you think that someone owes you something simply because you exist here, that is progressive privilege. When you think that middle class families have to work and slave and pay $2,000, $4,000 extra a year for their health care so that some chick who can afford it and swills wine while she backpacks in Europe can get air quotes free birth control that is progressive privilege when it is okay for you to be a gun-toting woman and use your gun-toting security to go out and bully law-abiding peaceful pro-second americans that's progressive privilege when you fly around on private jets and you have tinted windows on your chauffeured new york plated suvs and you have catered box lunch rallies, and your sugar daddy's $50 million worth, and his name is Michael Bloomberg, that is progressive privilege. Let's talk about that privilege. When you have academic standards lowered, instead of encouraging children to everybody to recognize the potential within them and meet higher academic standards that everyone can meet regardless of sex, regardless of race, and you lower it in the name of Common Core, that is progressive privilege. When you tell everyone, let's focus on, let's focus on not who we, who we go to bed with, let's focus on what we are and do as people, let's hashtag equality, but everybody better pay attention to who's dating who when they go and play pro football in the NFL, that's progressive privilege. That is what progressive privilege is. When you are offended simply because someone prays publicly, simply because their father's a preacher, simply because they don't believe in abortion, but they do believe in biblical marriage. When you think all of those, when you, when you, when you, if you are offended by all of those things and you feel that you have the right to force them out of business, ruin the livelihood of their family, smear their good names and reputation, and you're able to do it and businesses collapse and just placate you, that is progressive privilege. Let's have a discussion on what progressive privilege is, shall we? When you have a white woman with blonde hair and blue eyes co-opting the ethnicity of American Indians 
and she uses it to gain entrance into Harvard and she uses it to gain jobs and gain discounts on her education and get in everywhere else. And she calls herself the first woman of color, but she's white and genealogists discover she doesn't have an ounce of Native American blood in her body, nor do her ancestors do that, ladies and gentlemen, is progressive privilege. When you sit here and talk about a war on women, and yet you refuse to designate Boko Haram, one of the generals in the war on women, as a terrorist group, and they go out and kidnap hundreds of girls, and they're going to sell them into sexual slavery, and they're going to sell them into forced marriage, that, ladies and gentlemen, is your hashtag progressive privilege. When you can sit here and belittle and berate and target and push and bully television networks to drop people because someone says something that you don't like, someone has a different point of view, someone is ideologically diverse, that is progressive privilege. That is what it is. Let's have a discussion about that. When you can sit here and say that, oh, I'm so anti-gun and the Second Amendment is anachronistic. We don't need that anymore. Let's just outsource our security. Let's just do all of that. But in the meantime, you should get shot in the throat because you disagree with me. That is, ladies and gentlemen, progressive privilege. When you are on Twitter and you see someone tweet something that you don't like, and so you get all your, your, your goonies to get together and you spam block them so you can shut down and suspend their Twitter account. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is progressive privilege. When you think that someone's value and someone's worth is based upon what's between their legs or is based upon the color of their skin or should be based solely on where they go Sunday morning or where they go on Saturday or which direction they bow when they get on their knees and you think that should be valued above merit and everything else, that, listeners, is progressive privilege. That is what progressive privilege is. And I have about damned had it. How about you?